me. Like this. Oh. Well, that just went from bad to worse. Uh, Cool. Yep, got that. But, oh. Hello. Shotgun scroll here. And welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're on episode 14. And I am buzzing. I am feeling very energized. I am feeling ready to go. So, uh, let's do that. Now, last episode, we developed a fear of falling, or rather, heights, but no one's really scared of heights, you're scared of falling, right? I mean, that, that, I mean, surely, surely that's got to be the fear, really, it's got to be the fear of falling, like, I know ha heights are what give the symptoms, but the fear itself is, is falling, I would assume, anyway. So we've got a fear of falling, um, and we lied to a whole bunch of people, and now I think we've got to go back to... The big ship, which uh, name is lost on me. Um, oh, game audio seems really quiet. Hang on. Hey, we've got the axe back. Where do we pick them up from? Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? I don't know, but they're super cute. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> um, okay, right. Objectives. No, journal, journal. <sighs> I forgot a drug addiction. That's not drug addiction, that's for being weekly. Uh, drug addiction. Right, okay. So, return the data back up to Edna. Oh, so, Groundbreaker. Uh, Groundbreaker. We don't know where that is. That is Groundbreaker. Uh, Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker, cool. All Groundbreaker. Let's go. Oh, that's the jump button. All the way over here. Doop -doop -doop. God, there's so many places we haven't even been to yet. Destination reached. Cool. The groundbreaker. Fantastic, thank you. All right, let's. Oh, hello. Can we talk? You certainly can, Vicar. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. Oh, uh, sure. It's what just about me. Your thoughts? What? My thoughts? What? I'd like to know how something about those I'm flying with. What's your story? I wanted to ask you about that book. Does it have anything to do with your religion? Any idea where we can find someone who speaks French in this colony? <laughs> Vicar, you're out of my crew. I want you off the ship. Let's have a go for that one. I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. Okay. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That sounds like a good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. That's why I asked it. We should start on the groundbreaker. Well, that's it's convenient. Where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra Two, a great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their hmm. easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Coolio. All right, uh, how would a crew manifest up? No, that's obvious. How is it that simple vicar happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular <laughs> skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. You in prison? I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Okay. Sounds good, let's go. Thank you, Captain. All right, so he's gonna come with us for this uh, French mission. So we need him. Uh, so that means, sorry Ellie, the Varty always comes. Unless for like some serious reason. Well, we haven't seen a Mantisaur yet. I don't think so anyway. I don't know, there was that bit where we fell into the pit of death. <laughs> Flashbacks. And, um, some stuff was very large there, but I don't think anything was a mantis or I think it was all um, largest versions of the dogs, but I could be wrong. I, I, as, as you know, I, I ran out of there as quickly as I could. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, come here often? So I, I don't know what else to say. Not, oh, here you go. Right, let's just go. I don't have to worry about filling the void anymore. Come on, textures loading. Okay, I'm glad. Right, 
So, what order should we do these in? This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chick. I mean, the scholar. What does he keep trying to say? What crew? Crew? I don't know. Hmm. He's got secrets. Okay. So that is a restricted area, which we don't have the file for. Will they turn around? Oh no! Ah, I have something that let me around here. Success. Oh, that's not the button. Great work. Still not the button. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? Oh! Look at me, I did it. Uh, eject docking data to the record cartridge. Confiscated goods. Uh, Detained a freelancer who is cage about his business. Confiscated his personal belongings. Uh, lock container. Okay, security logs. Okay, cool. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Okay. Well, we're allowed to be in here, so we're going to leave now. Bye. And then I'm going to go back in, and it's going to be all reset. Excuse me. Nothing to see here. Just passing on by. You're an artist, Captain. Uh, all right. Look at the what do you think you're oh, doing? Oh, hello. Uh, lie, nothing at all. Leave conversation. Intimidate, whatever whatever I want. Persuade, I was just leaving. Persuade. I don't want any trouble out of you. Okay. I apologize. Mistakes were indeed made. Impressive as always. Ah, there's like a little back entrance. Okay. Alright, we've got to stop trying to steal in front of people, though. To be fair, I did think we weren't... Wait, what's that? An ID cartridge. No one can see me. Yoink. Right, anyway. Um, let's... Uh, no. Uh, we're going to go to character. Development time. Let's get our leadership up. Apply. Yeah. Uh, oh, we get perk as well. Because we haven't had enough of these yet. Um, consumable weight. That might be worth it. Dialogue skills. But only when we have no companions. Which I always want companions. Because they give you fun dialogue. Vendor price. Oh, buying price. Oh, we make more money. That's quite a good one. Uh, do, do, do. Science weapon damage. Companion ability cooldown. Chance reset ability cooldown. Moving penalty to accuracy. Oh, that'd be quite good, maybe. Now, I think first off, we'll do vendor prices. Lots of money. Yeah. How long until we can get these ones? Uh, requires 10 previous perks. We currently have... Oh, one more, and we'll be able to start getting those. So, I guess two more levels. Oh, actually, four more levels, because we also have to get two levels up. Okay. Well, we got what he wanted. Did he want to have a conversation with me now, or...? Companion quest, the empty man. Give the data. Oh, Vicar Max. Hey, buddy. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. <gasps> Very naughty. Oh, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Uh, perception, you hesitate there, Vega. Why aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding them. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Not really. There was the data there. Uh, it all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, <laughs> but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets... You sometimes get a sense for these things. Well, that sounds like absolute baloney, and you know it. All right, well, we're done with you. Okay, well, that's right. I need to take drugs every once in a while anyway. Dun, dun, dun. Let's put my gun away, because I feel like you shouldn't have your gun out on a ship like this. Let's go speak to Edna. Do, do, do. You right, Cyclops? 
They always look like they want to talk to me because they're just so frozen. Hi, Edna. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup. Success. I trust everything went smoothly. Uh, I had to blow up lots of robots. Here's your data backup. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security mm. red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. You're very welcome. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief oh, June Lake. Very nice, thank you. Try not to spend it all in one place. I make no promises. Cool. All right. Uh, next one on my list. Next one on my list. Oh yeah. Where's this one? This is a task. Oh, that seems to be getting a quest. Probably shouldn't do that next. Uh, okay. Solution vital. The doctor is over there. Let's go. Hey, my groundbreaker reputation increased. Goodbye, doctor. I need to speak to this person. Hello. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. Uh, sure. I can't thank you enough. Wow. Okay. I got nothing other than the knowledge of a job well done. That's fine with me, I guess. And, and, and some XP. Alright, XP for life. Alright, what's next? Uh, do, do, do. Uh, okay, so let's speak to... Um, Scientist who bragged about powerful weapon, which was actually perhaps... Oh, Gladys is shot. Okay, so Gladys. Gladys, Gladys, Gladys. Let's go. Hi, Gladys. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about? I on did. Earthway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Pay 10,000 bits. I can just buy it. I investigate that strict signal from Ori. Uh, What's that? Speak up now. Uh, about the secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? Um. Uh, I found a formula for expendable rocket fuel. It seems like pretty advanced stuff. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. But I do not have the lie in me. Quite some research on Raptor and Musk. Interested. Yeah, I just give it the formula. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this. But waste not, want not, I suppose. I required some research on Macta Musk interested. Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say wrapped it on? Gracious. Someone must have hogged them off Monarch. Oh, naughty, okay. Naughty. So they only come from wrapped A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. <laughs> wow. God, I can imagine having the persuasion to do that. That would be funny. All right, cool. Uh, I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm sure there's more, but I'd have to... Um, I'm still searching. I'll report back later. Be sure to come back for Magazine Club. Oh, wait. Can I not get... The, do I have to find all the things? Oh, no. I'm not going back there. Fantastic. Damn it. Got nothing out of that. With it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Well, other than feeling I got robbed by you. It's... I found a handsome ceramic mantapillar at a salvage auction last week. Okay, but I don't want your ceramic mantapillar. What I wanted was what I paid for for free. But I still seem to have quite a few bits, so... No big deal, I suppose. Um, sell all my junk. Have I got any junk to sell? Obviously, I had some junk to sell. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried too much. Goodbye. Okay. Well, I'd hope to do that all for free, but... I'm going to be able to set foot on a whole other what? planet. Oh, crap. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Monarch is a wretched hive of terrorism and anarchy. 
We'd best top off our ammo stock before we leave. Oh, hello. Can I go in here? What is that? And how do I get to it? Interesting. Hey, I'm in the house now, so there's something. Uh, doesn't seem to be much benefit from being here. So I'm going to head back down. I can go in here, but that's not going to help me. Nope. Unless it goes back round. Nope. Okay. Alright, what did it actually say, the ground baker one? Arms dogs mentioned looking glad to shop for old records. Apparently, the smuggler acquired several leads that way. Uh, okay, so. Alright. I thought I bought all of her leads, but maybe I didn't. Do, 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 do. Hi, guys. Me again. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Uh, do, 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 do. Why don't you ask you something else? What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? Uh, nope. Anytime, sweetheart. You know oh my god, she gives me a purple berry you bunch every time. With you. Amazing. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No, I'm good. I want to see what you trade. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub? She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Okay then. All right. So you're saying that they might be something in, in here. Right. I've bought all the quest stuff. So it's not really any of these, is it? Wow. She gave me these for free. They're twenty-five. Oh. Oh, she's, how is she making any money in this in this business? Nope, nothing there. I'm so confused. I must already have it. My quests then. Uh, inventory quests. Nope, that's general. That's quests. Captain's identification. Corrupted logic module. Geothermal passcode. Digital security. Holographic shroud. Junior deputy constable badge. Uh, Martin ID cartridge. ID cartridge belonging to a Martin security guard on groundbreaker. Oh yeah, that's, that's what we need for this. Uh, which I think we must have picked up a second version of it. There you go, look, we now have two of them. Uh, Reed's key. A key to Reed's room located above the Edgewater Cannery. Oh yeah. Um, a technical manual designed to assist in the diagnosis and repair of common problems with orbital communications. Battered Marder Databed. Old Databed once used by Grand Bridge Market Security Forces. For community dust and grime, this hasn't been accessed for over a decade. Okay, that doesn't help me. Chromative cigarette case that we didn't give back. I'm really confused. Another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking into Gladys' shop for old records. Apparently the smuggler acquired several leads that way. Hmm. Alright, no worries. We're going to give up on that. You've acquired one of the uh, company secrets. So I guess it's, I guess that's just going to stay here forever then. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Maybe we'll have to go back there at one point. All right, so he wants to go to Monarch. Uh, where do this where does this want me to go? Form Dr. Wells, you have a nav key. Okay. Lane mission time. Uh this way. Let's go. Nope, that's the toilet. Oh, wait. There was a mission, wasn't there? Wait, there's Terra 1. Alright, okay. Uh, I had a, that task that I never did. Let's do that first. Was that the big important person we spoke to before? Let's find out. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Wow, proper jammy music here. Hello. You weren't followed, were you? I hope not. I'm, I'm pretty sure I wasn't. 
I got an advocate to serve by. Uh, is that job stuff for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. Dun dun dun. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Oh, that works quite well with uh, Thingy's mission. Uh, I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? Understood. Uh, anything else you know about Monarch? Few laws and even fewer people to enforce them. Uh, if you're working for the right side, it's a fucking paradise. You speak You'll very slowly. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I wonder if you've got the same voice I actor as um, are, Captain. Uh, the old lady we just spoke to. I don't know. Sounded vaguely similar for a second. Let us take heed that we are not caught bending the law. I am not keen on another long-term penitentiary assignment. Uh, you spin it however you want, my friend. Space crime continuum. Contin con continuum. Yeah. Uh, hasn't had our agent celebrate recently. So that one wants me to go back. Go to Dr. Wells. Dr. Wells, next. Oh, here's the big... The guy who brought us back to life. So terrible at everyone's names in this game. It's just too many. Right. Got rid of it halfway through the episode and it was just sorting out quest stuff. Let's get going. What is it? Oh, that's not to me. And all aboard. I wonder if there's a um fast travel button just to go jump straight to the ship. I should probably look into that. But it's not like I have to do that run very often. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, I'm getting very frustrated at loading screens. They just stop me from having I fun. Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Where? Up in the communal area, I'm assuming. Felix, you're absolutely surely not going to believe this. Guess who the villain was in this week's Virginia Yang girl detective? Mr. Bertie Holcomb, that tall scholar. This I gotta see. Well, she Thanks. just spoiled it for you, didn't she? What? I'm so confused. Why would you start something off with, hey, here's a massive spoiler. Um, and then the other guy's like, oh yeah, sure, no worries, I'll check it out now that you've spoiled it for me. What is this from? Formerly the property of Frey, presumably put to better use in your quarters. Oh, am I meant to know who Frey is? Is that meant to be something I did? God, man, it's hard to... It's just for squirrel. Uh, just let you know that I've given out the rest of your you-know-what to you-know-who's... Sorry for the secrecy. You never know who's reading these things. Oh, it's the the medicine I gave. Appreciate you giving me the time of day. You risked your neck. Yeah, I did. Cool. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I don't do this ever. So here goes. There's this engine. Oh, I've got her email. That's not meant to come to me, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. Alright, I haven't read that. Whatever. I haven't got time. I haven't got time. There's far too much stuff to do. Far too much stuff. Right, let's tell Mr. Wells. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yes, please. Well done. Wow, he's just ready Monarch. like that? Exotic Amazing. Climate, violent native species. Fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. Coolio. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. Yeah, no, I got that. They can help us fight yeah, back Yeah, no, I got that too. They can help us set things right. I understand. You don't need to repeat all that. I know why if we're doing this. If we don't this. put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Okay. 
Sounds good. Uh, just tell me what to do. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents okay. the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. All right, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Well, no, most of them are sleeping, but sure. Okay. Oh, please go going by. So you want to go to Fallbrook on Monarch. You want to go to Fallbrook on Monarch. Oh, first Stella Bay, then to Fallbrook. And you want to go to Stella Bay, then Fallbrook. Fantastic. Look at that. It's all worked out nicely. Let's go then. There it is. Monarch hiding the other side of there. Oh, okay. Stella Bay first, I guess. Cas Cascadia? Hmm. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Nice. Good job, Ada. That is... I guess giants are crazy, right? Like, that's still really, really far away. Now, even the planet's got moving winds as well. That's really cool. But then why is that so pixelated? Oh. Oh. It just frustrates me. Let's go. Um, okay, Vicar wanted to come, so he might as well still come with us. Now we've got some new loading screens. Mostly just, just, just a still. Da, da, da. Entertain the people while we wait through the loading screen. Don't really know how to do that. Um, I haven't got any tidbits. What have I done today? I went to work. That's about it, really. I, I won't describe work. That That's probably even worse than the loading screen. Um... Oh man. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Ooh. Come on, load in. So it looks nice. So, all right, hang on. Let me. It's all loaded in. Let me do my. <gasps> Ooh. There you go. That works better this time. Oh, bollocks. Look at this. Oh man, this is so cool. Even if the colours are a little bit janky. Um. I guess. Let's go. Okay. That does nothing. Down we go. Hey, I didn't jump off to my death this time. Oh. Do you by any chance want to talk to me, Grim? Uh yeah, guessing it's gonna be me. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think you're seeing me around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yes. Uh whatever, I'm not here for chit chat. You seem surprised. Well, that is my ship on the landing pad right next to you. You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's always three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Uh, what are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. I'm excited. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Okay. I am Captain Squirrel. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. <gasps> Exciting. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Uh, is Stella Bay that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch <laughs> years ago. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? You did. Oh. And if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. Oh, now you're asking for favor. That's that's not the right I way. I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. <gasps> I don't know who that is. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? 
sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Always there. Always there, Grim. Really? Like, she never leaves. She has no life at all. Just there waiting for your goddamn poster. I find that hard to believe. Um... Okay, let's... That's the door that's locked. Here's the thing that I can open. Oh, it's all stealing, apparently. I, I'm just saying, if you leave it out, it's out, right? Oh, there's blockades and stuff. Uh, I can't get over there. Alright. Uh, I feel like that needs to be pushed. Eee. Oh, no. Can't help, I'm afraid. I'm a side guard, why don't you help? You look intense, dude. Holy crap. Also, that doesn't look good. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. No, but I don't care what you're Well, I, th I can't miss her. Normal looking guy, normal looking guy, but, well, his moustache is amazing. Holy crap, that's a good moustache. Anyway, sorry. Normal looking guy, normal looking guy, bartender, pink haired, crazy lady. I think, think that's, think that's confirmed. Cannot miss her. Hey, look, it's one of these guys. Right, hello person I need to speak to. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding. You definitely weren't talking a minute ago. Trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. Oh, uh, you're a proper drunk. Uh, keep listening. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. Wow. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. Who are you from around here? No, I'm not. Who are you? Uh, I'm Squirrel. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? I think you've had enough. But, sure. Outstanding! No, oh, not two. Oh, damn, damn, how am I going to afford that? What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Um, I'm told you can help me with uh, to help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats. I think brass tax. I Let's think is what you're looking for. Business. Yeah, business. I'm Let's do it. I'm back out there after I sober up. Okay. And you want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Uh, sure. What do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? Uh, okay. Yeah. They're very good. Okay. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. You but and you me are going to get along. We're clearly that? both addicted, addicted to drugs. You mean caffeinoid, that stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Alright, I'll be back. God damn it. Alright. Let's get the Power Ranger what she needs. What is this? Oh, it's the Monarch Stella. It's that company thing. That's why it looks different. What is this and why is it here? Several phrases have been marked off right between the eyes. Oh, it's a bingo sheet. <laughs> That's funny. Right. Is there things up the stairs? The stairs are the things. Hello, and. Oh, nope. Sorry, excuse me, just coming through. Oh, uh, I don't like stealing from people. Unless it really benefits me. In which case, I still don't like it, but I will do it. Uh, not in real life, though. Real life, people actually lose stuff. Wrap musk and canid eyes right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? Uh, no. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal. I, I wasn't. Uh, let's see what we have. 
Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Oh, just lots. Of, yeah, you're not kidding. Just lot. What? What's? What do those items mean? I don't know what that item means. A good price to buy it at, maybe? Expensive? I don't know. So I can't buy that. It's too much. I don't, I don't need any of the things you're trying to shift onto me. Um, Please, will someone help me? Hello. hello. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting in oh. with acid as we speak. Oh, then he's already dead. Your child is missing. When did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the okay. man to save your little If he's dying right now from acid, you need she to tell him what's going on. The wilderness a few days ago. A few days? About the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, oh, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please. He's already been there two days. Like, he's dead, right? Please. I mean, I'll go do my best, but I'm pretty sure he's dead. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. That's not how things work. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. Oh, I feel like she's been... If you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, <laughs> you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's Why do I feel like it's his, like it's her dad or something? No, not her dad, the boy's dad that's just taking him in this whole custody battle thing. Sounds like a custody battle thing where one person's like over exaggerating. Oh, this just did. Yoink! Flamethrower. I mean, that would just be silly not to take a flamethrower. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with it though, but I got it, and that's all that matters. But why is this all stealing? It's all here. No one's around. Gimme. 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 Wait. Gimme. And gimme. Gimme. Alright. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, what? Well, Zeng's Emporium. Where's that? Apparently I've discovered it, but where is it? Oh, it's this thing. Is it? Is it this thing? Oh, hello. Get another advance, Mr. Nandi. Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising <laughs> model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not voice in the um, All right, let's let's step back. Posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. D do I? I uh, you you're crazy. No, you have a meeting. Oh, that is tempting. Oh, that is so tempting. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self review? Very generous. <laughs> Noted. But not so generous, I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Hmm. Uh, me. I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. <laughs> Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Oh, no. Hey, I could always be both. <laughs> Afraid not. If you have to eat one weird space science... Wait. One, eat, if I have to eat one more weird science project past offers food in this sprat folks <laughs> colony, I'm going to stab someone. <laughs> oh, shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite no, right? No, look at that Pavati cares. Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Wow. 
share too much, my friend. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... You're very sexualized, my friend. back to the drawing board. Uh, if you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are hmm. precarious. And you're tired of scrounging and scraping by, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Oh, Mr. Vicker, man. Okay. I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. Yeah, no, we need to kick him out. Yes, He's going to be talking far too big the all the time. Has plucked the very words from my brain. Uh, you make a good point. Indeed. Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. No, it doesn't seem Returning possible. to the board is your only chance if you hope to survive here on Monarch. That doesn't mean it'll be easily achievable. Uh, I want to get out of this no, conversation. No worthwhile plan was ever simple. That's what I always say. Okay. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Oh, what are you going to do, Celia? Say he knows what's going on. Enough preamble. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. Just the one? If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Okay, that sounds good. It's Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Intelligence, ordinance or ordinance? An ordinance, of course. We do things in a civilized fashion here, not like Graham's iconoclast. I don't know the difference between. There's nothing the board likes so much as paperwork. Yeah, the difference between ordinance and ordinance. <laughs> My character is more intelligent than I am. What's the next part of your plan? I need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt Fifty Two will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. Uh. These days, it's overrun with marauders and raptors. No worries, I've got bullets. Why are you saying it that way? Oh, I can't. I'm not. I haven't got perception. No. Then I guess I'll go get your bolt fifty-two. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptors. Don't worry, I can. There. I can oh, respawn if I die. There should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. After I collect it and make use of it, of course. Sure. Bye. Oh, that was a hell of a conversation. Okay, so we're now on Monarch. Uh, or Stella Bay on Monarch. And, my God, there's so many quests to pick up and stuff. We haven't even touched on half the places here. Um, have we got a map? Uh, region. Okay. So, lots of places to walk and see. I wonder what that is. I don't know. And there's a place all the way down here as well. God, this looks like a really big place. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's, I should finish now. So I'm going to finish with this. Um, yeah. Uh, next time we'll be probably getting a few more quizzes. Quizzes? Quests? And then we'll head off somewhere and on some jaunt. But yes, thank you ever so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Shotgun Squirrel out.